So this guy, his name's Tabo, and Tabo is a total scumbag. Let me explain. So Tabo lives in South Africa, and he's been a con artist his whole life, mostly writing fraudulent checks and stuff like that. But one day, he gets an idea for a scam, and he sets up a Facebook account for a fake modeling agency. And then he reaches out to young women who want to be models, and he promises them a modeling job. And then once they meet, and he gets them alone, he pulls out a knife, and he just straight up robs them. Their money, their laptops, and this scam works real well. Like at one point, he's stealing two to three laptops a day doing this. And then, because he's a total scumbag, sometimes he would also SA these women. So Tabo does all this and other scams for years, but eventually he gets a girlfriend and then they date for about eight months. And then one night they're alone in a hotel and they get into some kind of argument. And then, because he's a total scumbag, he pulls out a knife and he unalives her and robs her too. And that sucks, but the good news is Tabo eventually gets caught and he's arrested, here's his mugshot. And he pleads guilty to unaliving his girlfriend and a bunch of other stuff and he's given life in prison, but it's later reduced to 30 years. Oh, but it's not even close to being over for Tabo. Because within a few years, while he's in prison, he's back to scamming again. But we'll get to that. First, let's talk about this woman, who we'll just call Dr. Nandi. Dr. Nandi is a successful doctor. She owns her own cosmetic surgery clinic. She's also an established influencer with about 150,000 followers on her Instagram. She's got a lot going on. But she and Tabo have known each other since she was in college. And for whatever fucked up reason, she starts contacting him while he's locked up. Then eventually she starts going to visit him. And then things get romantic and suddenly she's in a relationship with a guy who just got convicted of unaliving his last girlfriend. And if that isn't crazy enough, while Tabo's in prison, she helps him start scamming again. Tabo gets access to laptops and he starts a fraudulent event company. And he sets up a fake women in media event, claiming that Halle Berry would be a guest speaker there. And then he sells expensive tickets to this fake event. And this is just one of many scams that Tabo and Dr. Nandi pull while he's locked up. But then everything changes. So Tabo is still in prison and he's been there for a decade. And one night, Tabo's prison cell suddenly catches on fire. And then someone alerts the guards and they rush in and there they find Tabo's body all burned and charred. He had apparently taken his own life. And then Dr. Nandi has to come in and identify the body and she does, but that's the end of Tabo, the total scumbag. Until one day around this time, Tabo's biological mother is watching TV and they're talking about Tabo's death on the news. And at that time, she hadn't seen or heard anything from Tabo in years, but she hears that he died and she goes to the morgue to collect his body so that she can give him a proper burial. And of course, before she can do that, they make her take a DNA test to prove that she's actually his mother. But when they test her DNA against Tabo's body, it's not a match. And everyone's like, uh, what the f so then they do an autopsy on whoever's burned body this is, and they find that this person can't be Tabo. This person died long before they were set on fire, from blunt force trauma to the head, not from fire. Plus, this person's like 10 inches shorter than Tabo. Can't be him. So if this person isn't Tabo, then what the hell really happened to him? Oh, you aren't ready for this one. Let's rewind. <laughs> So Tabo is still in prison and he's been there for a decade and at some point he and Dr. Nandi decide they're gonna bust him out and that is when they come up with this crazy scheme to fake his death. So Dr. Nandi goes to a local morgue and she finds an unidentified corpse there and then she pretends to be a relative of the corpse and then she identifies the body and she transports the corpse from the morgue being like we're gonna take my uh, cousin here and give him a proper funeral. Then she takes the corpse and with the help of a couple crooked security guards working at the prison they smuggle it into Tabo's cell and then they set it on fire trying to make it look like Tabo unalived himself. And while the fire is going, Tabo dresses up as a security guard and he sneaks out of the prison. And the craziest part of this plan is that it actually works. Tabo escapes and everyone thinks he's dead. Meanwhile, he's actually alive and well, staying a few hours away from the prison. And he's out there living his best life. He and Dr. Nandi are renting a mansion, they're driving luxury cars and wearing designer jewelry. And not only that, because he's a total scumbag, he and Dr. Nandi are still running fake businesses on Facebook, scamming people out of their money. And then about a year goes by and the story that this convict Tabo faked his own death and escaped from prison hasn't really broke yet. But then some skeptical investigative journalists start looking into it and they get a hold of Tabo's autopsy report and they dig into it and they publish an expose on how Tabo probably faked his death. 
and this article blows up. And then other media outlets jump on the story and then they start doing news about it. And this creates a lot of buzz and it starts this like whole manhunt and suddenly everyone is looking for Tabo. And Tabo and Dr. Nandi, they see all this heat and they're like, oh shit. We gotta get out of here. And they flee from South Africa to Kenya. But unfortunately for them, they're stopped at the border in Tanzania. And there is where finally they arrest Tabo again. And he's gonna spend his life in prison again. Here's his new mugshot. They also, of course, arrest Dr. Nandi, who is, as of right now, still waiting on her trial. And here's her mugshot. 